drug kingpin Joaquin El Chapo Guzman appearing in a Brooklyn federal court Friday surrounded by security personnel after a surprise extradition to the U.S. from Mexico last month. U.S. prosecutors accusing El Chapo of running the world's biggest international drug trafficking organization for decades, as well as money laundering and playing a key role in Mexico's decade-long drug war that has killed over 100,000 people. 59-year-old Guzman's lawyer is telling the court Friday he's being subjected to excessive conditions of confinement in a federal jail in New York City. He's only permitted out to speak to um, limited members of our office and one hour of exercise a day. The fact that he has caused no security problems since he's come to this country, he's conducted himself the way he should in court and with the agents who arrested him, that they've got the current restrictions are excessive. While under 23-hour lockdown, Guzman has been denied access to both his Mexican attorney and his wife, Emma Coronel, who flew in from Mexico to see her husband in court. The former leader of the Sinaloa drug cartel, notorious for two previous jailbreaks from maximum security prisons in Mexico, has pleaded not guilty to 17 criminal counts that could put him away for life without parole if convicted. The U.S. assuring Mexican officials they would not seek the death penalty as a condition of Guzman's extradition that came on the eve of Donald Trump's swearing in as the 45th president.